Americans are struggling with stress and anxiety related to the workplace. What ends up happening is we bring that stress and anxiety and sometimes even depressive thoughts home to our parents, to our children, to our partners, and even our friends. While we talk a lot about self-care and mental health, like perhaps outside of the office, no one's really addressing what happens like inside the office. And what I find in my clinical experience is that when we go through our workday, we experience what I call psychological injuries. And the three that happen most often in and out of the workforce are failure, rejection, loneliness. And there's one that I always add, because I see it all the time at the office, is betrayal. Folks will experience these injuries, but they don't realize it. And what do they end up doing? They brush them off, or they deal with them in isolation. And what I find is that a compounded effect of all of these injuries can actually lead to clinical depression or clinical anxiety. So like, we actually have to address them. There's a few different things that I recommend for folks to deal with workplace stress and anxiety. The first one is to identify the psychological wound when it happens. So instead of brushing it off or dealing with it in isolation, I ask people to take a beat take a pause, be like, okay, what am I experiencing? And then the second step is to ask myself, like, what do I actually need? If we're able to increase our self-awareness, identify our wounds, we're better able to deal with them. The second thing that I see um, that I recommend for folks is to tackle their rumination. What I often see in the workplace is we'll experience these things, right? And then we will obsess and overthink them. If they've noticed that they're ruminating and they're really thrown off in their day, the best way and really the most effective way to combat rumination is quite simple, is to write down your thoughts. If you actually put pen to paper and write down like what happened, that's gonna actually be productive. It's gonna structure your thoughts and then hopefully you can actually create goals out of what you write down. We have to be able to turn the page a little bit more effectively.